installing the aerial pixel camera mount for the DJI Avada, that coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. On this channel, we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone and photography related. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. It's greatly appreciated. So as mentioned in the intro, today we're going to be talking about how to install the top GoPro mount for the DJI Avada. So a few things about the mount. There are no tools required to install and remove this other than to put your actual camera on the mount itself. Uh, you can easily remove the mount from the drone without any other screwdrivers, Allen wrenches, or anything like that. Another thing to note about the mount is it is a two-part mount. Uh, there is a hard plastic PETG that clips onto the drone, and then there is a TPU portion, the actual fingers, that you would mount your action camera to. So why is that important? Drones like this, Cinewhoops like this, that have really high RPM motors tend to have some vibrations in the frame. Those vibrations transfer to the camera, which causes the jello effect, that kind of stuttering effect that you get in some footage. So one way to mitigate that vibration is to use TPU. So you do not want an all hard plastic mount for your camera. That will just transfer any of the vibrations straight through to your camera. The TPU acts as an isolator. That's why a lot of times, even on the uh, Avada camera itself, you do have rubber isolators that isolate the camera from the frame. Is a secondary camera really needed on the Avada? Is the main camera good enough? In general, I think yes, you can get away with using the Avada's camera. It is much better than the previous DJI FPV camera, and it does a very good job uh, stabilizing. So one of the things that we've done with the DJI FPV drone, yes, we did have a top mount for that one as well. Uh, we've sold thousands of those, so we appreciate your support on that one. But we also did create a backpack, we call it the backpack camera mount for it, uh, so you could film essentially behind you. And that is one of the ideas that I had when developing this one, is we can actually turn the camera backwards, film behind us, and get some good footage facing forward from the Avada camera as well as backwards from the action camera and I'll go ahead and play a few quick clips on what that looks like. So let's go into the bench right now and I'll show you just how easy it is to install this GoPro mount. All right, so here we are back at the bench. Uh, as you can see, this is the two part mount. The dark gray is the PETG. The black is the TPU that helps reduce vibrations. It does come with the nut and bolt already pre-installed for you. Uh, this is the stainless steel one. We also do offer one that is a polycarbonate one. It saves you about five grams, taking this from uh, right at 17 grams down to about 12 and a half grams. Also in the kit, you will get a three millimeter hex driver uh, so you can remove and uh, install the bolt on it. So one reason why we use a bolt instead of the whole thumb turn screw is it does save quite a bit of weight uh, as well as it's a lot lower profile, uh, less things to get snagged on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this for you just to show the individual components. Here is the nut and the bolt. And then here is that two part piece. As you can see, this is TPU, it's rubbery, flexible, and this is the P 
PETG portion. This will just slide in through here. Uh, we left a pad down here, one to help brace the fingers uh, in case you're in an, in an accident and it won't pull through. Uh, as well, this acts as a rubber gripping pad and it helps also isolate from the frame a little bit better. So to install this on the drone, it's real simple. You just put in th the two side clips on one side first. You can kind of feel it get into the groove. It's just going to go over this strut right here and then you just clip it down over and then that's not going to go anywhere. You can pull on it. Uh, to remove, there we have these little thumb tabs. You simply just pull up on the thumb tabs and it pulls out. So really easy installation, totally toolless to install and remove. So to install the camera on the mount, uh, this nut normally will reside in this hole here. It stays in there pretty easily. Uh, you will just line it up just like you would a normal GoPro mount. And you will thread the bolt through and using your Allen key or I've got a screwdriver to make things a little bit faster, we will just tighten that down. All right, and there it is. As you can see, I'm pulling on that quite hard and it's not going anywhere. So all the products in this video are listed down in the description below, including the new Avada GoPro mount, as well as several TPU uh, protectors and mounts for all kinds of action cameras will be listed down in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'd be glad to answer them. You can also reach out to us on our website. We have a Facebook Connect button there. You can reach us that way as well. So that's it for this video. Film safe, fly safe, and bye for now.